Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. The next thing we want to do is basically when the user clicks on this preview, we want to redirect the user to an endpoint in Next.js and we call that preview. And we've already discussed that in the past that in order for you to create an endpoint in Next.js, you just go to pages, you create a directory called API, and then you create a file called preview, and then it's going to automatically create that endpoint for you at slash API slash preview. Okay. So to save time, I'm going to go to my pull request and copy the code. Since this is an advanced course, I'm assuming you'll understand the basics. So this endpoint is basically going to use to check if the user is authenticated, which means, uh, you know, we have the auth token available uh, in the cookies and also to redirect the user accordingly. So if we don't have the auth token available, redirect to the login page so user can log in or if the auth token is present, then redirect to the proper preview URL, depending on whether it's post or page, okay? So we do export default async function. We name this function as preview. You can name it whatever you want. And remember that the endpoint will be this, slash API slash preview, and then query params, you have post type, and then you have the post ID. Uh, this URL, of course, will change when you're not in local. So this will be your live URL, okay? So what we're going to do is that in the request, we're going to get the query params, which is post type and post ID. So post type and post ID. So we are extracting that value by object destructuring. And then we're going to get the auth token. So we're going to create a function inside of utils. So let's go to source and we already have utils. So let's create a file called cookies in the utils. Okay. So inside of the cookies.js, uh, we're going to be importing cookie packets. So of course we have to install it first. I'm going to cd dot dot cd dot dot cd front end. And then I'm going to say yarn add cookie. So this is going to install the cookie package for you. And then we create a function, a custom function called parse cookies. And cookie has a method available called parse. And it takes the, the cookie basically, and it's going to pass that information. And then we also create another function called get auth token. And this is going to parse the cookies uh, using the parse cookies function that we have created. And then inside of that, we're going to get the auth available. Okay. Now, next thing we do is uh, once we get the auth, so if the auth token is present, then we go ahead and redirect the user with a status code of 307, which is temporary redirect. And then we redirect them to a login page with information, which is the type of the post and the post ID. Now, what we need to do is basically over here, we need to create a login page, right? And we also need to get the preview redirect URL. So we're going to create a function for this as well. So let's go to utils and then I'm going to create a file called redirects. And inside of this, I'm going to create a function called get preview redirect URL. This will take post type, the preview post ID. If it's, if any of these is empty, then just return empty. Check if the post type is post, then the URL should be this. So what we're going to do is basically, if you go to pages, uh, inside of pages, we'll create something called blog. So this is where your post will live and then we'll create a directory called preview. And inside of preview, we'll create another file. And this will be dynamic. So it will be id.js because we're going to have the preview post ID. So this will be that post preview. And then return post preview. Export default. Post. We will come back to this in a moment, but just to let you know. Okay. And then same thing we have to do that inside of the uh, pages as well. So for pages, let's create a directory called page. And then I'm going to paste the same thing over here as well, but replace the name of post preview with page preview for now. 
Okay, so basically what we're saying is that in the redirect, if the post type is post, then redirect the user to slash blog slash preview and whatever the ID of that post is. If the type of the post is page, then go ahead and redirect to page slash preview slash ID. Okay, otherwise just return home URL. Okay, uh, which is of course not correct because we don't want to be directing to home, but assuming that we just putting it as a default for now, okay? So that's what's happening in your get preview redirect URL. So if we have the auth, and auth token available, then we'll redirect to those individual preview pages. Okay, the next thing you want to do is build a login uh, page where the user can enter the username and password. Okay, so let's build that. So we're going to do that in the next video. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. And the repo name is Next.js Headless WordPress. Please do give star to repository like all of the 80 beautiful people have. And please do follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Koritek. All right. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.